<clears throat> so I briefly wanted to come on here and film potentially the last video while pregnant. I don't really know how much more time I'm going to have. I'm uh, My shirt is totally coming up, but um, I am, let's see, 12 or 11 days away from my due date. So I'm getting pretty close and I was a week late with Allie, but I imagine that for some reason this baby's going to be coming earlier because I just feel more exhausted and tired and big and ready for him to come where I felt like last time I wasn't quite at this point or maybe never really got to this point to be honest. I felt big last time and hard to move but I wasn't really in pain or sore or feeling like I really couldn't like do certain things which this time I I have been feeling that way. Part of what I wanted to talk about here I guess was just been the process of this pregnancy after just going through a previous pregnancy a year earlier and uh, obviously losing Allie to a brain bleed which perhaps we will or I will chat more about in the future with more detail but for now that's all that I am comfortable sharing as we also have a court case going on so it's been a little challenging and it peaked right or it's peaking <laughs> right now and just a few weeks after our son will be born so it's gonna make things a little bit challenging so but as far as my overall experience of grief and pregnancy and how that all played a role I feel like in so many ways this little baby helped me through a lot of a lot of challenging moments feeling like there just wasn't gonna be any happy ending and uh, it's really hard to feel like I deserve or we deserve a another child, another chance at taking care of a little human being. Something else that's come up a lot is expecting things. Um, obviously we had Allie and we're fully expecting to take care of her, um, to have her in our family until we potentially left this earth obviously you don't really expect your children to pass before you do so I think with this experience it's just made me feel like I really can't have any expectations as to what's gonna happen obviously trying to stay positive and be positive and live in a somewhat hopeful environment but the reality of what we went through and expecting to take care of our child and then not being able to it's just made it so that each moment it's like he's in there he's healthy I'm healthy and I just hope that you know, he'll come out healthy and just continue to evaluate everything as it comes up. But there's less of that kind of floating, ultra happy type feeling of like, wow, you know, how can life get better than this? Or can't wait 
for this to happen or you know it's like in six months maybe we'll be giving him food it's like okay well hold on we have to get to six months first and uh it just um it's gonna be challenging <laughs> so a lot of this pregnancy i feel like has been so helpful for my own grief and processing and at the same time i feel like it's it's really hard to get into a good headspace because of all that's happened and not having our baby girl here is just um, hard. <sighs> One last thing that I feel like is also worth mentioning is throughout grieving in general and even the pregnancy, I feel like I've just become much more able to not care what other people may feel in relation to mine and theirs dynamic. I can't keep up with all the people that I was prior to giving birth. Some people are just no longer helpful or serving to where I'm at and that's not to say they wouldn't be in the future but a lot of my process has been really letting go of a lot of relationships that are just no longer serving me. It's not that I don't care, it's just whatever our relationship was built on is no longer a foundation that I need to grow from. I'm in a very different place. I've gone through some really challenging moments that I hope no one else I know has to go through and I just don't have the time or energy to keep up with all these various people so I've essentially kept up with just a couple and family and obviously you know in big families we have a lot more going on than typical. Obviously, we have um, not just my family, not just Sam's family, but um, you know, Honor's biological mom and mom for the first six years of her life, their family we're close to. So there's just a lot more people to uh, take into account than there used to be. And obviously, when Things like what happened to Allie happen in life. Often family is the one that you turn to. And you can talk to them without feeling like words gonna get around somehow. I've also found it surprising that some people who have been told about various aspects locally about what either had happened to Allie or where I'm at right now in my life, what's happening, I've been surprised to learn that they have told other people or are, yeah, I just feel like if you've been communicated something, feels like the respectful thing to do is to not really talk about it to other people, especially something that's personal. So it just takes another, just makes me feel like I am right when it comes to needing space and I'm not going to apologize about the things that I need in my life and uh, you know I can't really have this dynamic with people where I feel like I'm constantly being needed or that someone else or many people need to be validated that they are supporting me still or that they are still a priority in my life and you know my priorities right now are to are to gather all the documents that I need for our hearing and to have all the things and try to be in a good headspace for my child that's coming 
and to have everything in line, the doctor appointment, the all the things that just need to happen. This has felt more like a rambling than a real video, but perhaps it is insightful, perhaps it is useful. I can write better, I feel, than I can share in videos where I'm at, but I document not only this for other people, but also for myself so that I can look back and see where I was at because these have been very challenging moments and I don't know what the future holds, but I hope that it gets a little bit easier because we've certainly had our fair share of challenge and grief and 